Hey guys, and welcome to another video. This time we're going over how to find the three hidden bosses needed to complete Huntresses, defeat three hidden bosses in a single run challenge, and unlock her alternate primary fire ability. Let's get into it. Alright, first off, I'm going to recommend before you start your run, you go into the game rules tab and turn off the new stage variants. This will make this challenge a lot easier to complete. Alright, so after you start your run, you're just going to play the game as normal up to the third stage, and hopefully for your third stage you get the sunken tombs. If you get Ancient Valley, don't worry, there's still a chance you can do this challenge without looping. If you get the second variant of the Ancient Valley, which is the variant with the big unbroken bridge at the top, you can access a secret stage called Boar Beach. How you get to Boar Beach is you go up to the very top and as far left of the stage as you can. You'll see this geyser. If you take it and get up onto this part of the mountain and hold your up button in front of this background decoration, you'll be teleported to Boar Beach, which once you do the teleporter event here, will take you back to the third stage which from personal experience has mostly been sunken tombs it can take you back to ancient valley but that has only happened to me one time so far all right so once you've made it to sunken tombs you're going to take down the first hidden boss which is acrid you just have to go all the way to the top right of the stage and find the storage container holding acrid open it up and fight him once you defeat him that is the first boss done for the challenge the next part is getting to the magma barracks on the first two variants of the magma barracks if you go all the way to the right of the stage there would be this pathway in the lava which will lead you to the dire seeker boss once again all you have to do is defeat it and that will be the second boss done for the challenge and the final boss for this challenge is funnily enough the final boss of the game providence after you beat dire seeker you just have to continue to play the game normally and get to the final stage and defeat providence as he is considered a hidden boss as well once you defeat him that will complete this challenge for you the ability you get from completing this challenge is Huntress's alternate primary fire, Pierce, which changes her primary fire to a hold the charge arrow shot that can deal up to a thousand percent damage. And that is how you defeat three hidden bosses in a single run as Huntress and unlock her Pierce ability. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you want more Risk of Rain Returns content, you can check out my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Torax109, where I stream Risk of Rain Returns and plenty more. Now I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay of Huntress's Pierce ability. Have a good one, guys. Peace.